Northern Hills, and welcome to WOW, Worship on Wednesday. My name is Herschel Krigbaum, and I'm a lay servant here at the church. And as always, we're super excited that you're joining us to recharge your spiritual batteries during the middle of the week. Last week, we had the opportunity to be wowed by Nancy Carter, and this week we have the opportunity to be wowed by Reverend Sue White. Uh, she used to be a pastor here at the church, and there's a lot of love for her in this community. And uh, I got the opportunity to see her last uh, couple weeks ago, so uh, we're looking forward to her message uh, tonight. Uh, we want to hear your prayer requests and your praise reports here at Northern Hills. Please send those to prayer at nhumc.org. If you had a prayer request that you feel comfortable, go ahead and say it out loud right now. If you had a, have a praise report that you feel comfortable, go ahead and say it out loud right now. If you had a prayer request, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. If you had a praise report, Lord, we give you praise. Praise Jesus. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Glorious and gracious God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this time with you. It's always great that we can spend time with you and hear your word the way you want us to hear it, the way it is read, the way it is spoken, and the way it is uh, preached. And we thank you for this time, Father God, and we pray in your name. Amen. you can be with us for this wow and tonight we're talking about relations and one of the images that I really like from the Bible is the body of Christ and the fact that we are knit together as one living breathing body together as a community of faith the idea that an eye can't just go do its own thing an ear can't exist by itself a foot won't get much of anywhere if it doesn't have a body to connect with and that's the idea of the church and the Christian community as well. And the idea is we're stronger together under Christ's leadership than we are by ourselves. There are no Lone Ranger Christians. And so our opening song talks about that and reminds us that we are a part of the family of God. So as you can, let's stand and sing this together. I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain, cleansed by his blood, joined us with Jesus as we travel this side. For I'm part of the family, the family of God. You will notice we say brother and sister and dear, it's because we're a family, and these folks are so near. When one has a heartache, we all share the tears and rejoice in each victory in this family so near. I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain by his blood join us with Jesus as we travel this sod for I'm part of the family the family of God from the door of an orphanage to the house of the king no longer an outcast a new song I to riches from the weak to the strong I'm not worthy to be here but praise God I belong I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God I've been washed in the fountain cleansed by his blood joint heirs with Jesus as we travel this sod For I'm part of the family The family of God One more time I'm so glad I'm a part Of the family of God I've been washed in the fountain Cleansed by His blood Join us with Jesus As we travel this sod for I'm part of the family, the family of God. Yes, I'm part of the family, 
the family of God. I need you. You need me. We're all a part of God's body. Stand with me. Agree with me. We're all a part of God's body. It is His will that every need be supplied. You are important to me. I need you to survive. You are important to me. I need you to survive. I pray for you. You pray. you to survive. I won't harm you with words from my mouth. I love you. I need you to survive. It is His will that every need be supplied. You are important to me. I need you to survive. You are important to me. I need you to survive. I need you. You need me. We're all a part of God's body. Stand with me, agree with me, we're all a part of God's body. It is His will that every need it be supplied. You are important to me, I need you to survive. to me. I need you to survive. You are important to me. I need you to survive. Good evening. My name is Sue White. I uh, was a member of Northern Hills United Methodist Church many years ago before I went into the ministry. And so I've been asked to say a few words this evening uh, on uh, the wow videos. Was that uh, worship on Wednesday or Wednesday on worship or whatever? Uh, Pastor Jackson told me that um, people are called wowzers that do uh, Wednesday nights, and so welcome. Um, I'm really thrilled to be here uh, right now. Uh, we're living in Guatemala, which some of you may already know, and probably the oldest missionary in Guatemala, but who cares? And uh, it's, just, it's just good uh, to celebrate Wednesday night worship, uh, communion, and time fellowship with you. And we're talking tonight about relationships. And I just thought about it thinking, hmm, lifetime of relationships. But some of the best were while I was here at Northern Hills. I was here four years after I retired. Uh, and you may know, as I mentioned, I was a member of Northern Hills when I declared for the ministry. That was in 1990. And while those human relationships were an important and a gift from God, I would say truly though, that the best relationship we can have is the relationship we have with God. And that comes through faith and belief in Jesus Christ, God's Son. 
I was thinking about relationships and what they are and how important uh, this gift is from God. And uh, as I was thinking about this, I came up with a poem that I love, and you probably are familiar with it. Uh, Corey Ten Boom used it in her book, The Hiding Place, and it's about relationships, mostly about our relationship with God and with others in life. She and her family, if you recall, were involved in saving the lives of Jewish friends and neighbors during World War II. And those relationships were very costly. In fact, they cost the lives of her father, her brother, and her sister because they were all discovered and put in prison camps uh, and finally died. This poem is so very meaningful, and it's so like her faith. We don't know if she wrote it, uh, but it goes like this in quoting it. It's called The Weaving. My life is but a weaving between my God and me. I cannot choose the colors. He weaveth steadily. Oft times he weaveth sorrow, and I in foolish pride forget he sees the upper and I the underside. The dark threads are as needful in the skillful weaver's hand as the threads of gold and silver in the pattern that he has planned. So not till the loom is silent and the shuttles cease to fly will God unroll the canvas and reveal the reason why. You see, that's the living out of our relationship with God through Christ, our Savior. God, our Creator, the Holy Spirit, our companion and counselor. I'm talking here about the Trinity and the three persons of God in one. I'm talking about the most important relationship that there is. Genesis 1.26, quote, Let us create or make mankind in our image. The most poignant question I've worked through was who is the our in this statement? Not time, not H-O-U-R, but our, O-U-R. Who is the our? Let us make mankind in our image. Mm -hmm. Aha! <laughs> the mystery of the relationship of God to Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Jesus was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be the world without end. The scriptures tell us that God became flesh and dwelled among us. That was God, incarnate, God in the flesh. And we are made in his image, the Imago Dei. Now the scripture tells us in 1 Corinthians that uh, for now on this earth, we live in earthly tents. <laughs> My tent's getting older. I don't know about yours. Got a few leaks, <clears throat> a few problems, but nevertheless, um, back to human relationships. As I said, I declared for ministry in 1990 while attending Northern Hills United Methodist Church, and from there went through 10 years while preaching and serving God's kingdom to complete the process for ordination and to become an elder in the United Methodist Church. During that time, I acquired a bachelor's disease, a disease, <laughs> I'll be all right, a bachelor's degree, a bachelor's disease probably too, a master's uh, degree in theology, that was probably the disease, and uh, I completed 20 courses of summer school through Perkins uh, School of, of Theology. Spent a lot of time, a lot of money trying to get ready, and as I often say, when it was all over, um, what cost me ten thousands of tens of thousands of dollars? I'm going to give it to you free of charge. And that's a Greek word. The Greek word is homoousios, not Homo sapien. Homoousios, H-O-M-O-O-U-S-I-A-S. It means um, the relationship of God in Jesus. It means they are the same substance. That's God and Jesus Christ, the same substance. And the Holy Spirit emanates from that relationship to be a third part of the Trinity. 
and be able to abide in the believer, making that relationship real as we confess our faith in Jesus Christ and uh, belong to God as his child. Now that uh, cost me about $40,000 altogether for all those years of education. <laughs> Bless you. As I said, I'll just give it to you. Um, recall, if you will, that we just celebrated Pentecost. Love Pentecost. It's the coming of the Holy Spirit. That was in late May. I'm sure you remember that Jesus said to the disciples and to the believers, hold still, wait, I'm going, but I am sending the Holy Spirit to you. I was raised in a church that um, encouraged Bible memorization. And as a child and teenager, we memorized a lot of scripture. Thank God for all of that. But the one I majored in was Acts 2, 38, chapter 2, verse 38. I was very small when I would say, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Hmm. Now that's Dr. Luke writing in the Gospel of Luke. Um, and then in Acts, um, again, we, we hear and know about Pentecost. And that's the best relationship that we'll ever have. If, if we talk about the three phases of God's work, we would name them like maybe creation, salvation, and sanctification. We don't have time to take all that apart, but basically, simply put, God made us in His image. We are basically spiritual beings. And Jesus became the atonement for our sin and the sin of the world. And, and that word atonement breaks down like this, at one meant. We become one with God, atonement, so that we can have this relationship with God, our Creator and Savior, and the third person of the Trinity, the Holy Spirit. So now we have the uh, encourager, the uh, protector, the guide, um, the counselor, all, all of this in relationship uh, with Christ. Uh, I've just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm using my laptop here for my notes and I just lost my cursor. Does that ever happen to you? The older I get, the more things I can't find anyway. So <clears throat> here we go. The promises throughout the Word of God speak being related and enjoying God through eternity. One of my favorite scriptures in John 14, Jesus is talking to the disciples and he's actually comforting them. And he says, do not let your hearts be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. For in my Father's house are many mansions, are many rooms, depends on translation that you're reading. If that were not so, would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and I prepare a place for you, I will come back and I will take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Verse 5 of chapter 14, Thomas. Oh, Thomas, Lord, we don't know where you're going, he asked Jesus. How can we know the way? Then Jesus said, Thomas, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. So from now on, you do know him and you have seen him. Jesus was referring, of course, to himself. So relationships for me, first it's with my Lord and Savior, which supplies all that is needed to maintain peace, joy, and compassion with all the others that are in my life. Remember the words of the poem that Miss Corey Ten Boom gave us? I'm going to put it in plural. Our lives are but a weaving between my God and me, and we cannot choose the colors, 
He weaveth steadily. Oh, oft times he weaveth sorrow, and I in foolish pride forgets he sees the upper, and I the underside. So, as the dark threads are so needful in the skillful weaver's hand, as the threads of gold and silver are in the pattern he's planned, and not till the loom is silent and the shuttles cease to fly will God unroll the canvas and reveal the reason why. And so ours is not to reason why. Ours is just to know that we belong to God through Jesus Christ. And that relationship will serve us throughout our lives in all and everything that we encounter. Being good talking to you. Uh, I know you're probably going to celebrate the Lord's table or sing some more songs or pray. But uh, I'll be thinking about you. It's good to spend a little time with you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So remember, we need each other, and under God's leadership, we can do glorious things together. So, closing song, Bind Us Together. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord, bind us together, Lord, bind us together with love. together with cords that cannot be broken. Bind us together, Lord. Bind us together, Lord. Bind us together with Thank you, Reverend White, for that excellent message this evening. We really appreciate you uh, taking your time while you're here in town from Guatemala to uh, come and share God's word with us. We really appreciate that. And uh, remember that we have so many opportunities for ministries here at the church that uh, we would like you to go to our website nhumc.org and look at all the different ministries that we have available here at the church. Please join me in this benediction. Gracious God, we thank you for this time. Uh, we thank you for Pastor White and her message. Uh, may you recharge our spiritual batteries as we continue our week. Uh, guide us, keep us safe uh, until we see each other again on Sunday. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next week on WOW.